Welcome to Los 40 Global Show, Tanta. Hello. It's a pleasure for us to have Thanks. you here. Thanks uh, for having me here. Are you doing your right? I'm, is I'm good. Yeah? Is <laughs> I'm that your good. first time in Madrid? It's my first time in Madrid, uh -huh. yes. Do you like the city? Uh, I haven't seen much. Uh, no, I, not too I've much. just arrived Just like an arriving. hour ago. Thank you for yeah. coming straight from the airport Thank to you. our show. Thank you for <laughs> having pleasure. me here. My pleasure. Tanta, we are playing your song replay uh, till the March the 10th. March oh 10th. Oh my God, do you yes, remember the first the date? week. Yes, yes, I'm okay. watching the dates. Uh, first week you release the song. Yeah. We are was playing the song here in Los 40 Global Show. Thank you so we much for your support. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much because I can tell that um, I can really feel even now after the Eurovision and see uh Spanish people really really active and supportive to me and thank you <laughs> to every to everyone for supporting me because i think last weekend it was in my hometown in barcelona yes, huh? in, in the pride, pride. it was barcelona it was, pride was amazing no it was amazing feeling and i was like thinking what am i doing here <laughs> life <laughs> yeah. is amazing like life is amazing yeah it was a great experience thank uh -huh. you thank you I'm did you like barcelona also? yes i've been in barcelona it was my uh, third time actually because uh -huh. i'm um, i performed three weeks ago in barcelona then i had a pride but um i visited barcelona like uh seven eight years ago with my daughter and my mom for holidays so oh, wow. uh yeah uh, uh, but i'm f uh, it's my first time in madrid oh, perfect perfect um mm, you're from georgia yes and you moved to greece uh, yes and and when was your first time uh with music uh keeping in touch with music oh as long as I remember myself, actually, yes, from, uh, yeah. from my childhood. Yeah, I was lucky to have the mom I have. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, beside the very difficult, you know, economical and political situation back then in Georgia, my mom really tried hard to, um, you know, to give me uh, the best of it. So yeah. uh, I was singing, actually, as a child uh, in Georgia, too. But as a professional singer, I studied it um, in Greece. I um, took a part in a Greek idol. It's like a super yeah. idol. It's like an American mm -hmm. idol, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I came second. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't even speak any Greek uh, no? back then. No. Uh, but Greek people voted for me and uh, I came second. And after that, everything everything changed in my the life. Georgian girl. Uh, yes. <laughs> everybody supporting you. Um, yes. But finally, you are not uh, with uh, Greece on the Eurovision. Yes. You are with Cyprus. I, Chipre. Here we say yeah, Chipre. 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 <laughs> yes, I know uh, that. <laughs> I've heard it many And when times. did you know that your song, Replay, you're going to represent C Cyprus? Oh, actually, I first heard, heard the song and uh, maybe it was January. Uh -huh. when I first heard the song and um Did you like it? Yes, uh, of course. Well, Otherwise well, I I uh, I would say no. Uh I like the song cuz I'm a pop singer. It's a pop song, a great team, you know. I've uh, I've tried before years before to go to Eurovision from Greece. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make it back then. It was in 2007, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh so it was like it was second time. Actually, I had um proposal a year ago uh, from Chipre, Chipre? <laughs> I, yeah I, I was doing a lot of things back then L uh, the uh, last year in 2018 I was doing the musical cabaret I was uh, uh -huh. performing every Friday and Saturday in Greece and I had already agreed for being judge in X Factor in Georgia so I was it was impossible to agree so next year they, they came to me and I was like okay let's do it it's time to do it and no, i'm very today. very happy and grateful that i did uh -huh. this was my uh, second year as a spanish commentator yes. for televisión española and last year i met eleni Ferreira. Yes. now is one of my best friends in the eurovision world yes uh, she you was love with her me. here i yeah, know that you she, love her here yeah she was with me in, in so many festivals and also here in in, in the show uh, did you get any advice from eleni Ferreira before you go to uh, tel aviv <laughs> not advice exactly um but uh, i i got a beautiful message for uh, from uh, from her before the eurovision yeah well i, I know eleni from her very beginning because um 
I was already established maybe for five years when she came up and I know uh, how she started everything and I'm really happy that she also made her dreams come true and this yeah. is uh, generally m my message to the world because uh, for me too uh, I've been through three different lives I can tell so dreams come true and just keep yeah. dreaming <laughs> <laughs> okay now it's time for your dream yes for your dream come true and tell us about your Eurovision experience in in Tel Aviv in the beautiful city of Tel Aviv Yes, the beautiful city beautiful. of Tel Aviv. Amazing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I had fun. I didn't expect myself to have fun. I was like, oh, maybe I get too much pressure, you know. Uh, but I'm very proud that I, I really had a good time, perfect time, and had fun. Um, because, you know, I've been watching Eurovision so for so many years. I know that this is a very unpredictable <laughs> uh, song contest <laughs> and I was ready for, uh, for everything. I was ready for being the first and being the last. So yeah. I kept this mood all the way through and uh, nothing really touched me or ruined my, you know, um, uh, I, I, I had fun. And especially when I got on stage, first time with the audience mm -hmm. the feeling was like there's no way to think about or have any pressure just you have to enjoy it it's a it's a dream come true for yeah. every artist to perform on that stage with yeah. this beautiful like colorful and happy people who support everyone that everybody gets on stage. with a smile on their face yes i mean <laughs> it was just a you know a, one of the best experience of my life so this is what i keep from the Eurovision, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what do you think about Miki? Oh, Miki, Spanish I'm, contender. I love the song <laughs> from the very beginning when I heard it, uh, and the feeling of it. It, it was fun, colorful. And also, he had, of course, Greek team behind him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Focus. Yeah. yeah. Focus. Uh, yeah. A very good friend of mine. So, mm. yeah, I liked him a lot. Really, a lot. I expected him to do better but you never know uh, at Eurovision so <laughs> we always spent in that <laughs> finally it's okay now it does it doesn't it's really a brand matter. new song called celebrate oh eh? really celebrate let's celebrate celebrate, celebrate. life celebrate is it a the happiness fun happy yes song yes really fun again? i will play i will play for you later oh really the brand new Great, song of, of mickey <laughs> okay so tell me uh, about your new music after replay well i'm at the studio trying to find next songs i'm on a good way we'll see i've just released my new song greek new song uh -huh. um with a collaboration with a snick um and it's doing well actually i heard today that it's number one on spotify so i'm really happy no way. and uh congratulations yes, and uh probably uh, in the next two months i'll have another new english uh song ah in english okay. yes so we'll wait for that <laughs> okay. now we're going to play replay again all right <laughs> let's, let's hear it one more time let's listen once again the song here in the first radio show in spain that play uh, your song here for thank, Spain and Latin thank America. Thank you. I will never stop. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you tanto for being with us. Thank Congratulations. You thank you, thank you, thank you. Todos los éxitos.